Hey, it's Michael at Michael's Dogs Training and Behavior with some advice that might make your vet visit go a little bit more smoothly today. Just a couple, three tips to help you out along the way. First one is take a breath, stay calm, give your dog a little calm reassurance. This is a little scary, a little nerve wracking potentially. You're not gonna reinforce fear. If anything, you're gonna reinforce the fact that you're here for him. So a kind word, a little petting, it's gonna be fine. Second idea that comes to mind, take your time. You have a chunk of time scheduled with your veterinarian and the veterinary staff. Take breaks along the way if you need to. If your dog looks like he's a little nervous, even taking a 15 or 20 second break to kind of let him catch his breath and gather himself can really help the visit go much more smoothly. Third idea, lay off of the commands. It's probably a little bit too much for him to process right now. Now, if he sits or lays down on his own or your dog does something that you think is you know nice and calm and cool you can reinforce that just don't harp on him and give him a lot of commands because that can sort of make things a little bit more difficult than they need to be and use food this is the way i like, like to think about using food during vet visits treat after treat after your dog does something right now you didn't ask him to do it he just offered it up go ahead and give him a treat for that Treat after the vet tech comes in. Treat after the veterinarian comes in. When the veterinarian touches your dog or examines your dog or gives your dog an injection or does a blood draw, give a treat after each of those. Those things may still be a little yucky or uncomfortable, but the treats will kind of soften the blow. And over time, it will help build an association that coming to the vet is a calm place where good things happen. So let's review all of those. Offer calm reassurance. Take some breaks, lay off the commands, probably a little bit too much to process right now, and treat after. Treat after things happen to create good associations. If you need more help, ask your veterinarian or your vet staff to get you in contact with me. The website is michaelsdogs.com.